Hey guys, here with Max. This is DLR, and we're up against Sync, which is definitely our worst matchup. Um, our chances of winning this game are probably no better than like 20%. The fact that we can flip and just start trashing resources for two less is a huge problem, even if they aren't playing all CI on top of that. Um, mm -mm. Could play the. Yeah, let's just play this and we'll throw some things on the table. Okay, that's fine. Let's play the inject first, too. I don't know if it makes much difference in the long run. We're going to play this one next. I didn't want to overly draw four when I'd already played a card, so we'll try inject second turn. There's always some uncertainty whether you're going to draw zero or four with this card. So you want to have flicks to not discard cards you want. He's flipping right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why wait, right? He knows what's up. He knows that it's coming. So the scrubber is probably a dead draw. Uh, paparazzi, we can play that. It's kind of whatever. It's probably not killing us. Retrieval into eater. We'll we'll guarantee our stuff hits. Yeah, let's run that. Still kind of thinking we just throw, toss up the scrubber, right? Most sinks don't play anything except Jackson Howard. He named this a Bernice Mai. We have three of them. It's maybe an overreaction, but when you go against asset spam decks, you go against like HP with campaigns that you gotta trash or else have too much money. You really want to have that recurring credits just contest the board. Ooh, so maybe there is a Bernie Smy here, or it's more a CVS bluff. How good is our deja vu right now? Deja vu for nothing. We can inject here. I think that's fine. Cast, cast. DDoS. Yeah, that could do something. Yeah, that's a good move, I see as Jackson. Should he pitch an agenda is the question. We'll find out. No Baharity news. Fair. Deja for Josh is eh, not that exciting. I think we just wait. He has a small deck and he's got the... He has to act first, right? We're okay to wait, draw our whole deck, get a bunch of money, and then just like DDoS siphon him. He's the one that has to figure out how to score agendas when he only has one Astro now. The one Astro thing is really a, a huge reason why this deck is good now, because before they could just chain you out. Now, not so much. DDoS for... So we could fetch the fem. We could do retrieval to get our fem out for five dollars rather than paying eleven. Could get our siphon out. I kind of like having the the fem actually. I don't know. Maybe we could have done this next turn because the corridors are also pretty good. He probably has wraparounds. And the Femme doesn't hit anything else that's that relevant. Maybe the Corroder is actually the right choice. Should have decided this before because I have to pay an extra dollar. Um, let's get the Corroder. I don't want to be dealing with Wraparound. I think probably at least one of these three ice is Wraparound. He just put an Astro out. <laughs> what a guy.
Yeah, I totally just did Naked Astrovanus. Maybe he had mid-season backing it up, so he wasn't really naked. I mean, mid-season by itself, does that even beat us? Let's see what he's got against the Siphon. Resistor or wrap, perhaps? Let's see what we got. Yeah. So now we're actually able to access if we want to, but I think we just want to siphon him. Do we same old? Go in again. I think we do. This is going disturbingly well. Is he trying to kill us? I'm tempted to draw last click instead of doing a mill. Yeah, I'm kind of freaked out by him not doing anything with those siphons. Well, now we got to check this, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I guess you can put kitties out. If, but other than that, we're looking at Deja for siphon. Could ram it through. I think it's QPM. It's probably QPM, right? I guess we have to check it anyway. Yeah, it is. Womp womp. Okay, so we'll check the top of our ND so we can't run it in the next turn, but he could definitely race us here. Yeah, exchange is here, so if we take food, that's bad. Hmm. Should trust my instincts. I was so certain that was QPM. And then it was. Things he put a naked astro earlier, so like I was that kind of spooked me a bit. Because so I was like, well, what if he puts a naked beal and then he can score it? Oh, maybe he was too poor anyway to do it immediately, so maybe we had time. I'm curious what this card is. It's probably just Cyberdex, right? Cyberdex. I don't even care about that. Psycho. Yeah, so like I said before the start of this game, it's very hard to win this matchup when they can just flip and trash your stuff very easily. Um, maybe had we... The Naked Astro won the game for him, actually. That was very bold, and it worked out for him. Had we taken that, if he'd mid seeded us, he would have had no money to follow up, and we would have had on two points. Pretty happy with that. So... At the time, I didn't expect him to do it, but it actually makes a lot of sense for him to try it. Well, I don't know. If he has Hansen in his deck, he could have waited and been pretty conservative. Maybe you just run HQ like a ton of times to try and find the Beal. 
I'm used to thinking we can't access because of Eater, but because we had the Corroder, we actually could have accessed. Uh, this is one where like Wonton is really good if you can find a slot for it, but I've not been able to. Yeah, losing our Hacktivist so early was rough. So we we would have got a trigger in the Jackson. Might have hit a card that's important. Hmm. Yeah, not a favorable matchup for this deck in general, but I think you can still win sometimes, especially if your opponent doesn't know what to do against it. Thanks for watching.